In this overview, we will guide you how to receive calls to BAS IP intercom applications installed on your phone or tablet from individual and multi-user panels. Registration in Cloud SIP service and mobile application settings. Firstly, it's necessary to register on sip.basip.com. Filling in all required fields. Afterwards, confirm your registration. Follow the link which will be sent in a letter to the specified email. Further, enter your user account details, which includes your email and password, on the website sip.basip.com and activate an opportunity of adding five free SIP numbers in cloud service. To do it, click on the Add Device tab. The open page contains a short instruction and QR code, which you will need a little later. Depending on the mobile device used, download application Bass IP Intercom from Apple Store or Google Play. Now launch it. The application will request various permits to be accepted for correct operation of the application. Then, click Scan QR and point the phone camera at the QR code in the user account on the Add Device tab. The application will suggest scanning the QR code once more. You can find this on the box of device bought. It's also necessary to do this. Congratulations! Activation was done successfully, and there is an opportunity to add five free SIP numbers. To create and manage SIP numbers, go to the Virtual Numbers tab and select Add Number. The screen will show the generated SIP number. Indicate a name with Latin characters, for example, Intercom in the Display Name field and create a password. In our example, it's an alphanumeric character set. Click on the Create button. In Application on the mobile device, go to Menu, Assistant, Use SIP Account, in line with the relevant names. Enter the SIP number you received when adding a new number and your selected password. Then click the Login button. In case of a successful login, a green icon and an inscription, Registered, will be displayed. It means that the SIP number was successfully activated for the application on your mobile phone. Generation and adding SIP numbers of call panels to the application. To begin with, it is necessary to generate and save SIP numbers for the call panel in the Cloud SIP service. For this purpose, select Add Number in the User Account on the Virtual Numbers tab. A generated SIP number will appear on the screen. Indicate the name with Latin characters, for example, Entrance, in the Display Name field and create a password. In our example, it's an alphanumeric character set. Click on the Create button. In application on the mobile device, select the Call Panel icon. Click the Add icon and indicate the name. To not get confused, state a name in the sample that is the same as in that of the user account. Entrance. Also write down the SIP number of this panel. Then click Apply on the upper right corner of the screen, and everything is ready. If it is necessary to add one more call panels, do that. Call panel settings for work with SIP server. Set call panel via its web interface. To enter the web interface of the panel, switch it on and enter its IP address in the browser address line on the computer. Enter your login and password in the authorization window. Login. Admin. Password, by default, 123456. Then navigate to the LAN tab and fill in the following fields. IP Mask Gateway DNS If you do not know which data to enter in these fields, watch our video. You can find the link in the description for this overview. Finally, Click on the Submit button. Set the number of houses, entrance halls, floors, and apartments on the Device tab. If the call panel is the only one, you may leave the default settings. It will be enough. If there are two or more panels, then it's necessary to set at least sequence number of each panel. 
password for logging into the web interface may be changed in this tab. Click on the Submit button once more. More details on logical addresses may be discovered in our video, a link for which can be found in the description for this overview. Then put a tick against SIP Enable in the VoIP table and complete the following fields with values you see on the screen. Proxy Realm Outbound Stun IP Stun Port User field is SIP number, which was generated and given to this panel in Cloud SIP server. And password, password assigned to this number. All other fields in this tab remain unchanged. Finally, click on the Submit button and go to the main tab. Here, we visually make sure that the settings were successful. OK shall be stated opposite the inscription SIP. If error is stated, then some fields in the previous tabs have been filled in with errors. Recheck them. Pay attention to the fact that if the data entered into the VoIP menu, which does not correspond with those indicated in the SIP service, is entered severely, the account will be automatically blocked. To unblock it, you need to either contact the support team or wait one day and unblocking will happen automatically. Then, navigate to the Forward tab, enter data from the Floor and Room No fields, which are indicated in the Device tab in the Room No field. If the settings are standard, enter 1111. In the first place is Floor, 11 in the second place. Room No, also 11. Enter the SIP number of the application on the mobile device in the Account field. Afterwards, press the Submit button. Congratulations! You have set call forwarding from your call panel on the mobile application of your phone. It is also possible to call directly from the application on the phone to the call panel. To do this, select the panel from the list, to which it's necessary to call and press the call button. Here with, video and audio tracks of the panel will be automatically activated. It will also be possible to unlock. If an error was made when entering data to the forwarding table and some line from forwarding shall be deleted, double-click on the necessary Room No in the table, putting a tick against Remove and pressing the Submit button. Adding IP cameras to the application The first way IP cameras can be added to the application in two ways. The first is to record all camera data manually. The second by connecting it using the ONVIF protocol. First, let's consider the first method. In the application on the mobile device, select the IP camera icon and click on the Add icon. Then set an arbitrary camera name, for example, Common Corridor. RTSP stream of this camera and also login and password if necessary. Link to RTSP camera stream should be taken from the user manual of your camera. Press Add Camera button and it's ready. If it is necessary to add one more camera, do the same. Adding IP cameras to the application, the second way. The second way, IP camera connected to the ONVIF protocol. Select the IP camera icon in the application on your mobile phone and click on the Add icon. Click the ONVIF icon in the appeared window in the right upper corner. Then Get Streams and choose the necessary camera. Enter login and password and set name of the camera. Press Get Streams again to select the video stream, the mainstream with high quality or optional with lower image quality. The stream with the best quality usually has number zero. Select the desired stream. Press OK. And everything is ready. If you need to add one more camera, do the same. Menu of the mobile application and its basic opportunities. The main menu of the application has tabs. Do not disturb. Switch on off the mode when the application will show nothing during the incoming call. But when it is over, notification on missed call will be displayed on the telephone screen. Assistant to add a new SIP account. Photos to view all pictures taken. Alarm to view all data on alarm actuation in the premises. Settings to make changes to the application operation. 
About to show information about the application. In the left corner of the home screen of the application, there is an application showing all calls, incoming, outgoing, and missed, enabling to call on these accounts or delete unnecessary records. That's all, and we hope that this overview will help you understand this application. If you still have any questions, contact us at support at We will help you with pleasure.